Sup guys, I'm back and today I'm doing another top 10 list today. Today I'm going to be doing my top 10 favorite Godzilla figures in my collection. Yes, and as many of you guys know, a while back when I first started this channel, I did my top 5 favorite Godzilla figures in my collection. Well, my opinions have changed a little bit. You know, I've gotten a lot of figures. You know, my collection has significant, blah, significantly grown since I first started this channel. And, you know, my opinions have changed a little bit. So, without further ado, let's get this list started off with number 10. Alright guys, before we get to our number 10, I would like to list a couple of honorable mentions. Uh, the NECA Godzilla 1962 and the NECA Godzilla 19, uh, 1964. Yes, those two figures are phenomenal, but... Unfortunately, you know, it was very, very difficult, but I just couldn't put them on this list. And for number 10, you guys may be, this may be a little bit controversial, but for number 10, we have the SH Monster as Godzilla 2019. And the, maybe the biggest reason why I like this figure is because I love the Godzilla 2019 design. I thought it is a phenomenal, I thought it's a, it's, that, it's a phenomenal design. You know, it took everything that was great about the 2014 design and made it a whole lot better. And this figure is very, very good. You know, I did not get the X Plus, unfortunately. You know, I wish I could have got it. But this figure, guys, is really, really cool. Um, I definitely put it above the NECA. And uh, I just love the articulation on this guy. And even though his eyes are a little bit googly, you know, it's not so bad. But yeah, the detail is great on this guy. The articulation is awesome. The sculpt is very, very nicely done. And what's good, cool about this figure, and also kind of a little bad, is that its neck is really, really long. But that's because it can look straight up. So it can, like, shoot its, like, atomic... It has a beam effect and an, and, uh, and an extra jaw piece. And the biggest complaint about this figure for me is that and my dog starting to bark in the background. You guys are just going to have to deal with that. But I didn't, I didn't like the, um, the extra lower jaw. No, I really didn't like that. So, but yeah, this is my number 10. The SH Monster as Godzilla 2019. All right, guys, let's move on to number nine. All right, guys, here we are at number nine. We have... The SH Monster Arts Burning Godzilla, the original release. Guys, this figure is awesome. This is the best representation of a Burning Godzilla that I have in my collection. It easily beats the Bandai creation, and it definitely beats the NECA. Uh, this figure, guys, is just awesome. And you guys may be wondering, this figure was in my top five on the last list. Well, the biggest gripe for me is that this leg right here loves to pop off, and I'm not really going to move it, but... The joint is cracked in there, like the, the ball socket is a little cracked, so it makes it fall off very, very easily. So that kind of down, just lowered it on, made it a little lower on the list. But other than that, this figure is amazing. Articulation is great. Detail, sculpt is absolutely amazing. I love the burning patches on this figure. No, this figure is awesome. If you can get that, if you can find this guy for a decent price, I highly recommend that you pick him up. I think I picked mine up for like 140, maybe it could have been 150, but he, he's so worth it. He is, guys, he, he is so awesome. Definitely pick this guy up. Do not get the uh, the um, the one that has the smoke effect ones. That one's like, I heard that one's pretty bad. But yeah, number nine is the SH Monster. It's Burning Godzilla. All right, guys, let's move on to number eight. All right, guys, here we are at number eight. And mind you, Number eight and number seven were very, very difficult to decide. You know, you could easily flip-flop those two. But I'm going with my gut on this one. Number eight is the SH Monster Arts Ko Kyo Kyoku Godzilla 1989. Guys, I love this figure. Even though the light-up gimmick is not the best, but the sculpt on this guy is absolutely phenomenal. It just looks, it looks exactly like the 89 Godzilla. No, it's just so awesome. I do like the um the sound effects though, but the light up feature could be a little bit brighter, but I thought it was all right. Yeah, guys, it, this figure is amazing. Even though it was very expensive, but I got him at retail price at G-Fest for like $189, which was the retail price for this guy. And I can see why he's a very big figure. And even though his articulation is a little bit limited because you can't really turn the head like a like past a certain point or you'll damage the light up effect in the mouth. And uh, you can't really turn his chest... His, you know, his body that much because the you had to take the, the top off to insert the batteries for the light up effect. But other than, than that, guys, this figure is amazing. The sculpt is just so good on this guy. So yeah, my number eight is the SH Monster. It's Godzilla 1989. All right, guys, that's number eight. Let's move on to number seven. All right, guys, here we are at number seven. We have the SH Monster Arts Destroy a Special Color Version. Guys, this figure is amazing. 
I definitely like him over the the original release, even though I do not have the original release. Now this guy's paint job is, just looks so much better. It's just it's just so good. The sculpt is amazing. You know the articulation. It's a little bit limited, but for Destroya, it's pretty pretty good. Uh, I love this sculpt. The sculpt really does it for me for this figure. You know this the face sculpt is just amazing. You know, it just looks like the devil, just like Destroyer did in the movie. He's just so, so evil looking. It's, oh guys, it's just, this figure is so amazing. I highly recommend you pick him up. He was about 150 for me, which I think is totally worth it, guys. This figure is so awesome. If you can find him for around that price, definitely pick this guy up. So yeah, guys, that's my number seven. Let's move on to number six. All right, guys, here we are at number six with my favorite SH Monster Arts figure. The SH Monster Arts Shin Godzilla 4th Form Awakening version. I remember when I took this figure out of the box, it, I was just blown away. This figure is such an improvement over the original Shin Godzilla. Even though one of my beams is has snapped, but I just used like, you know, just like the scotch tape and, you know, it hardly looks like it's broken. But guys, even with that, this figure is so awesome. And he really stands out on the shelf. The purple just looks great. You know, he's got a beam. He has two beams, one that can shoot out of his tail, one that can shoot out of his mouth. He's really gonna stand out on your shelf. And it's gonna be hard to find this guy for the retail price that came out. I got this guy for 200 and I was happy. I think he's worth it. But he's actually the second most expensive figure in my collection. Number one being the SH Monster, it's King Ghidorah of 2019. But guys, he's so worth $200. If you can find him for that, definitely pick him up because he's going for 300, almost $400 on eBay. So. If you find him for like $200, definitely pick this guy up. He's so worth it. So yeah, that's my number six. Now let's go to number five. We hit the top five now. All right, guys, here we are at number five with, I don't want to say least favorite X Plus figure because it's just amazing. We have the X Plus Diamond Reissue Godzilla 2004. This figure, guys, is amazing. I love the sculpt on it. It's, the paint job is great. You know, the spines, they look a little bit small, but you know, it's whatever. The figure is just amazing. Even though I did pick him up for $200, which, oh my goodness. It was, it's crazy, but I think he's worth it, guys. He's just, the sculpt just looks amazing on this guy. He just looks so good. He looks just like I ripped him out of the movie. He is so awesome. You can, if you can find him for about $200, that he's so worth it, guys. I highly recommend that you pick this guy up if you can find him for a price around that round 200 he's just so amazing guys so that's my number five let's move on to number four hey can you guys see me behind this giant figure because this is my number four the uh the x plus diamond reissue mecha Godzilla 1993 this figure guys is massive he is so huge i remember when i opened him out of the box i was just blown away on how massive this figure is he's very very big and, but that's not the reason why I like this figure. This figure is very nicely done, even though it's kind of like a plain texture, you know, but the sculpt is amazing. It is the best Mechagodzilla figure that I have in my collection. It definitely beats the SH Monster Arts. Though I would have liked to have Gruda on this guy, but I already have the SH Monster Arts Super Mechagodzilla, so, and this is the Diamond re reissue, so it didn't come with Gruda. But uh, even without Garuda, this figure is awesome. And he's actually one of the more poseable X Plus figures. You know, the mouth can open, arms can move, elbows can move, the the hands can also move. So yeah, guys, if you can find him for a decent price, I picked I picked mine up for two hundred. Oh my goodness, you know, people are probably commenting like you're ridiculous. You spent two hundred dollars on this figure, but guys, he's worth it. He is just so awesome looking. Sculpt is amazing. Yeah, definitely my number four. Let's move on to number three. All right, guys, here we are at number three. We have the X-Plus Diamond Reissue Gigant 2004. This figure, guys, and my dog is continuing to bark in the background. I'm sorry, guys, but this figure, guys, is just amazing. I was blown away when I opened him out of the box. He was my third X-Plus figure I have ever gotten, and I was contemplating put the, putting this guy at number two, but number two is number two, and number one is number one. Guys... This figure is so awesome. And I remember that I got this guy for a steal. I got him for like 140 bucks, which is a steal for this guy. And unfortunately, he's now sold out on the website. I don't know if the chainsaw version is sold out, but I don't know if it'd still be up there. I forget the website. 
I forget what it's called, you know, but I don't care. But this, guys, this figure, is, why did I say I don't care? I, I forget which website it is. But guys, this figure is awesome. The sculpt is awesome. And I've been wanting a Millennium Gigan ever since I broke my SH Monsters Gigan a long, long time ago. And this figure is awesome. And I highly recommend you pick him up. So yeah, that's number three. Let's move on to number two. All right, guys, here we are at number two. And you may be looking at me like, what? Wasn't this guy number one on the last list? Well, there's one figure in this cl in my collection that I just think is a little bit better. It's very, very, it's a very, very close race. But this is the NECA Godzilla 24-inch long version, and it has sound effect. Do I even need to say why this guy's number two? This guy is amazing. The detail is awesome. Articulation is amazing. It's so good. The sculpt is not the most accurate, but this figure, guys, is so good. And he's only like $60, $70, which for this big figure is so worth it. My gosh, guys, he's so good. This was my favorite figure in my collection for the longest time. Oh, my gosh, guys, he is just so amazing. And if, even if it didn't have the sound effect, you know, it would be, it would still be a great figure. And he's heavy you know i don't feel like i'm gonna break this guy you know except if you, when you insert the tail you know there's a run you run the risk of breaking the sound box but just use the hair dryer to heat up the uh the plastic it'll it'll go in you know nice and it'll go in very it'll go in fine but guys if you can find this he's i think he's like 60 dollars, 70 dollars on some other websites guys do not what are you guys waiting for pick this guy up he's so awesome so what could beat this guy, this guy, the X Plus Diamond Reissue Godzilla 1984. This is my number one, guys. And oh my gosh, guys, he is amazing. You know, not only because it's my favorite Godzilla design out there, but it just looks exactly like I just ripped him out of the movie. I remember. I ha I was I was holding this guy when I was watching uh, Godzilla 1984 and it just looked so accurate and I want the Yuji Sakai one so bad the Rick boy it just looks so good with that light up effect but he's going for like three hundred dollars and I just cannot spend that much money right now oh my gosh guys he I wish I could buy that guy but this guy is is really really good he's so good the detail the sculpt just really does it for me the face sculpt just looks. so so amazing and this was my first x plus figure and i'm still blown away on how well they have sculpted this figure this figure guys is awesome the paint job the sculpt there's no articulation but it doesn't need it because this figure is badass he is so so awesome and if you can find him for like 200 dollars, i highly recommend that you pick this guy up all right guys that's my list of my top 10 favorite Godzilla figures in my collection. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, oh my Godzilla one Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.